Every veteran I've talked to has said, cold first. I says, well, what about the fighting? Well, that was there, but it was cold. They always come back to the cold. This is a GI, 1944-45, cold weather gear. If you notice, he has an overcoat on, and that was issue to all soldiers. This is an extremely heavy overcoat, uh, between probably eight and 10 pounds. But also, he has an Army issue muffler, actually. And below this, he would actually be layered. He would probably have a sweater, uh, and the sweater would actually be able to be pulled up back over the back of the neck. And under his helmet, he would have the Jeep cap, and the Jeep cap he could wear under the helmet and pull that around, and that would cover his ears. This soldier has a pair of gloves, but uh, what was more often the norm uh, was the combat mittens. And the combat mittens was standard knitted mitten, although it had one modification not only have the thumb, but would have the index finger so he could actually pull the trigger to his M1 Grand. His pants were usually wool. They had long johns that they could wear. And just a leather boot with his wool socks. Some units were told not to wear their overcoats because they were long and the Germans had long overcoats. The visibility was not all that great with the fog and the snow. And if you saw somebody with an, an overcoat on, sometimes you'd engage him as a target. You didn't want to be a subject to friendly fire. A lot of them would have a field jacket like this, short, it's got a, a wool lining to it. And then some of them had the, the newer version of the, the field jacket, which did have a, a quilted liner. A lot of them were, went into battle with really summer and fall uniforms. You're probably very lucky to have uh, this jacket here, which is an actual uh, jacket from the first ID, uh, that time period. You can see right under the jacket there is that knitted sweater. So they did have some protection, but it was extremely cold. They're not only in combat, but they're dealing with the elements. And the bulge lasted from the 16th of December all the way up to the 15th of January. So it was in the middle of winter uh, that the fighting was going on. I've known some veterans of the bulge, and, and every winter they'll say, I've never been warm since 1944. 